Hey there fellows, Buddy Spike here. I have no idea what this is. I just got into the game and I just downloaded the Maverick expansion pack which is for free. And I see this experimental airplane uh, which was hinted in the trailer that we got to see quite a few months ago. And I think it has something to do with the movie. I haven't watched the movie yet. I'll probably watch it tomorrow. And this thing does look fast and uh, I'm just gonna hop in the cockpit and see what this is about alright so I'm in the cockpit and uh, I can see left and I can see right but why on earth can't I see forward this is uh, strange I mean why can't they just make this part class as well so that I can see what the hell is going on in front of me anyways I'm just gonna I'm gonna try it anyway and uh, see how it feels like so we have a center stick here we have the throttle here I'm gonna see if we have air brakes air brakes well nope it seems we wait a second we do have air brakes look at the vertical stabilizers their angles change as I activate the air brakes this is a unique design well this is a unique plane okay so park and brake off and I'm gonna give full throttle. I don't know if you're gonna have full afterburner. Let's just see. All right. It seems uh, no full afterburner. Um, speed is about 150 knots. Not bad. Oh my goodness! I can't even see what's in front of me. Rotate. And uh, okay, so I have a huge Mach indicator right in front of me. Huh? Is that a bottom-facing camera? Uh, the camera is unavailable at high speeds probably so I'm at okay it's, it's back on camera zoom level and uh, I guess uh, this this shows the temperature 1000 above 1000 Fahrenheit I don't know how, how much that is in degrees I'll have to calculate hmm, let me see what they do avionics brightness in HUD mode night okay we just have this okay day so I'm at 400 knots. Let's see how fast this thing spins. Oops, sorry, my bad. Landing gear is up. You know what? The landing gear animation is actually not that bad. Very smooth. So this thing looks quite slick. So I'm giving a full pitch up and I don't see any vapor effects, anything like that. I guess they are not implemented. So what I'm gonna do is land this aircraft on the base and uh, we do have a velocity indicator i'm gonna use that to help myself land the aircraft okay my bad i just saw that you have to press a button for afterburner you know what i gotta have to find out what's the button for afterburner all right after afterburner hmm so toggle afterburner all right afterburner is set three two one all right wow okay Okay, I'm impressed with the visuals of the afterburner. They're not that bad. I wonder how they look at night. I'm gonna have to change the scenery because uh, I guess uh, with this one I don't have the options to change the weather. You know what, I'm just gonna use uh, the outside camera for this, forgive me for that. But uh, it is just a little too annoying to fly this thing from the inside. I just gotta turn off the air brakes. Uh, the approach is not 100% stable, but uh, Let's just see if I can make it. Well, at this point, I am a real pilot. Let's hope I don't fool myself here. I thought this was a runway, okay? Just all right. The wow, that was a that was a little bounce, a little too much bounce. I honestly thought this was a runway okay the suspension looks really good you know I feel like the suspensions are made for for this kind of terrain look at that yeah get that working okay so I managed to stop the plane all right which is a uh, which in my book is a win so this airplane is a little crazy uh, as you just saw um, let me see how it is in the movie tomorrow and uh, we can talk about that later so not all of these buttons you can press most of them seem to be inoperative the generators okay and we have engine reset cover and what do we have here landing gear parking brake huh what is this 
Ember gear extend. I don't know what this is. Emergency gear extension. Okay. Okay. Landing lights. Turn off. And jet. An operative. Scramble jet. Okay. I don't know what that means. And we got... Um, okay. Communication frequencies are here. We have display adjustment here. Avionics brightness. HUD mode. An operative. Okay. Yep. We got uh, warning lights here. And we got quite a bit of buttons here. They seem to be, well, some seems to be working, some seems to be inoperative. What else is here? Uh, wait a second, can we just see? Nope. No, all are inoperative. The HUD looks nice. I mean, the, the textures are sharp and everything. Not too shabby. It's just that one complaint I have is that you can't look forward which is super annoying you know i guess that's how the design is in the movie you know what you can even take off from the grass field which is uh nice i uh, you, you shouldn't do that but you shouldn't do that but you can do that okay for some reason i'm not able to have my gears up now maybe i should turn this one off and now it's working okay so I was a little surprised by a plane looking like this in the expansion pack and I thought you know what just let's just make a quick video and uh, this plane is you know what it's it's not that bad it's just that if you're in the cockpit you just can't fly this okay and uh, it is just super annoying that the front section is just designed that way it is, it is just very impractical in my opinion unless this is a drone in the movie hmm you know what? Just don't spoil it for me in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Buddy Spike.